in Hawaii and you start doing this all the time. Hunters are the biggest conservationists. 100%. We want to be outside. We want to enjoy outside. Shooting anything to bring home for dinner is definitely the cherry on top. But it's that time spent outside walking around, listening to the forest, and yeah. being one with the forest that is second to none. Yeah. And it's that experience that you really live with. seven or eight miles from where this cabin stands. You know, and my great-grandfather was kind of the first guy that uh, introduced our family into archery hunting. He started an archery club, he lived on Oahu. All of his old bows and stuff, like my uncle used to have with old sights that just like pieces of metal with screws oh, sticking yeah. out of it so that he could help with his recurve. Super, super efficient. And he used to make his own arrows with turkey feathers and everything like awesome. that and pencil tip uh, broadheads and everything like that. So it's. It's pretty cool and it's pretty engraved. You know, the archery hunting and the spearfishing is, it's, it's basically the foundation of who I am. Yeah. And uh, it's my great grandfather, you gotta look back and be like, yeah. Mahalo, thank you so much for, for everything that he's done and uh, in passing on the traditions. If I'm a little skinnier, he and I look a lot alike. That's, you know, 40, uh, 40 pounds ago. Right. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's just- You need that seal body for spearfishing. It's what it is, know, man. Like That's what it that. is. You need to be warm in the water. <laughs> we'll, we'll do that later, tomorrow. <laughs> Very good. Nice. I'm excited. This is fantastic. I mean, it really is like a paradise. And Justin's fantastic. He brought his daughter out this morning and gets on his shoulders while spotting pigs, and it's just rad, man. What an awesome experience. Tusk on him too, dude. Does he? Yeah, bro, that's a, dude. that's a stud. That's so awesome. I've been wanting to hunt pigs for so long. Yeah. This is a dream come true. You had to come to Hawaii to do it. I know. On Paradise. Website. Paradise. <laughs> dude, there's nothing better than this. Look at the size of this dude. Size pigs right there. Oh, yeah. So that they're all fat that. ones. That'd be good pigs to shoot. Those are three big pigs right here.
sow. Yeah, so that big one with the front pig, he was the one walking and he was head on. She was broadside. Yeah. And they were bo he boogered off the big one and spun and was facing away. Oh yeah, there's a big one. Yeah, the lead black one's the big one. And then, yeah, I, he was walking away and she was broadside and that was the pig. A good shooting, Tex. Thanks, man. So when you're throwing chum in, do you normally see the fish like come up and grab it, or sometimes if there's uh, if there's mahi mahi's around, they'll usually come up and you can see them from the surface, but they might just not be at the surface. see him on TV, but another thing to see the person flow through the water real gracefully and kind of check you out while you're checking him out. They're just curious. They're not deadly. They're not crazy. They're not out to get you in the ocean. You're in their territory, so just respect them and they'll respect you. Aloha kaka hiaka. That is good morning in the islands. But uh, it's actually lunchtime. Shout out to Earl's, the best place on earth. So this is the iconic bento roll. It's basically a bento box, like a Japanese bento yeah. box in a roll. Smoked pork, a chunk of spam, some fish cake, furikake, which is like a Japanese uh, rice seasoning. Rice wrapped in nori. And then there's uh, two types of what we call musubis. You got a spam musubi, which is fried spam, sandwich in between rice, a little bit of furikake, and then wrapped in nori. And then Korean chicken. That is the Hawaiian power bar right there. Cheers, Motro. Double fist in. Double fist in! Nice. King of the reef right here. This is uh, in Hawaii we call them ulua, but this is a uh, this is the king right here. Freaking pump though, super pump. Spear fishing worked out. <laughs> <laughs> Giant Trevally. Giant Trevally. Yeah. yeah. If you're not intimidating to them, they're going to come check you out. But as soon as you start to make aggressive moves towards them or you you act uncool in the water, they freak out and dig out. And so I just laid as still as I could. And this is a good size one. This guy's probably, you know, 55, 60 pounds. We got some some good old smoked fish, um, sausages. You know, this is, this is some good eats right here. And, uh, Pretty way to end the day. Awesome to do good work. Thank you, man. Super, super pumped.